1241 on this Tuesday. Lots of sunshine around and that's going to continue the rest of this afternoon. In fact, the next couple days look pretty sunny. Maybe a few high clouds returning tomorrow, but blue sky all day today. And as we go into uh, Wednesday and Thursday, the winds will start to pick up. I think some of the stronger wind gusts in the afternoon, at least tomorrow, could be around 35 to 40 miles per hour, especially along the coast. Cameron and Wilsey counties probably have the highest wind gusts expected tomorrow. So, you know, today is nice and sunny, but calm. Tomorrow is pretty sunny, but it could get quite windy out there in the afternoon and then a uh, weak cold front gets here by late Friday, probably in the afternoon or evening. So could come in during football time in the evening, but it also looks like a front that may not have much rain with it. So there might be a couple of brief showers, but it's looking pretty slim for much rain with this next front. Uh, so don't get too worked up about uh, sitting on any wet benches out there yet at the game. Uh, 81 degrees in uh, Westlaco, 79 in Edinburgh, 73 along the coast at South Padre Island. The wind flow, even though it's light, is turned around now coming back from the southeast, which is going to gradually raise temperatures and the humidity over the next couple of days, especially once the winds really increase tomorrow. We'll get more muggy by later Wednesday and Thursday. Future track shows a lot of sunshine today. That's good if you love sunshine and clear skies tonight. Uh, probably no fog, though, anywhere. Enough of a breeze blowing to keep the fog from forming. And then tomorrow, a mostly sunny day, maybe a few clouds here and there, but a windy day as well. Like I said, wind gusts could easily be around 35 to 40 miles per hour at times, uh, especially along the coast and over Cameron and Wilson counties. Maybe a little less windy the farther inland you go. By Wednesday night, we're still partly cloudy. Then on Thursday, still a fairly windy day as well, uh, but with temperatures still back in the 80s both of those days. Now we look at the wind speeds here. By this evening, again, a light wind, but just enough wind to keep the fog from forming tonight, around 10 miles per hour or so. You see, probably won't be disturbed by the wind blowing tonight, but then tomorrow, Wind speeds not too bad in the morning, but they do get kind of strong in the afternoon. These are the wind speeds, not counting the gusts. And you see the sustained wind is forecast in many areas to be up around 20 miles per hour or more in the afternoon. So we can take those winds and then add some gusts in to maybe 30, 35, once in a while, 40 miles per hour. Turns out to be a pretty windy day out there and nearly as windy maybe on Thursday as well. Now here's future track, the big view across Texas in case you're doing any traveling this week. Most of the state is going to be dry the next couple of days. You see the clouds increase a bit on Wednesday. The next storm system, there's a big one out here that's creating some heavier rain in Southern California, maybe around Arizona today and tonight. But that storm kind of starts a weekend when it gets closer to us. But uh, the pressure gradient between that and another cold front and uh, high pressure off to the east creates some stronger winds on Wednesday. So we're expecting the winds to increase Wednesday and on Thursday ahead of this cold front, the winds kind of go blowing right up toward that front. So uh, keeps us windy again on Thursday. When the front gets closer on Friday, it starts to drop off the wind speeds a bit. But I think you notice the front comes in late in the day, probably toward early evening. But again, as I was saying for Friday night football plans, uh, probably not going to be much of a change. So cooler than average temperatures though as we get toward the Thanksgiving holiday. But most of the models do trend at least uh, right around Thanksgiving, a warm up again. So it may be cool to start Thanksgiving week, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. But Thanksgiving Day could be back in the 80s. If you're making plans to cook some turkey right now, you might want to, you know, I don't know, still nice weather. You might be able to sit outside, shove some of those relatives outside. <laughs> 80s the next couple of days, highs in the mid 80s, rather windy Wednesday and Thursday and more humid. Notice by the weekend, we may have one or two showers Friday night, but the weekend is looking beautiful again. Highs in the 70s Saturday and Sunday and some sunshine. We'll keep tracking it here coming up on Channel 5 News at noon.